<laughs> Pete done his first ever. What? <laughs> Whoops. Okay. What went snap? That was just me coming out. He low around the wind. What the fuck's that? It's not moving, just hovering. Hi, my name's Pete and I upload shite videos to YouTube. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to do some bike packing to uh, woods near Elgin. Uh, I've got an Alpkit Mora hammock that I've never even opened. So what better time to try it than uh, for your first time than when it's dark and you've had a couple of drinks. Oh dear, this might not end well. Yeah, I was looking for uh, a good companion to go with today. Uh, someone that's skilled in bike packing and camping and things like that. Uh, but no one was available. So, uh, Roberta's coming with us. Right. <laughs> Big Ian's lit a fire already today, so he's exhausted. So yeah, he's, he's, he's done his man quota things today. <laughs> <laughs> so things are going a bit south. Now, I got uh, Rob this chocolate rum from Wester Distillery. This is a Christmas present. Happy Christmas, Oh, Rob. thank you, matey. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> We thought we'd try it and she didn't have any coke or anything else like that, so we put some uh, salted caramel liquor in it. Uh, so it tastes like homemade Baileys or something, but it's, it's lovely, really nice. Flange. 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 <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. Flange. I might have to go a wee bit more. Oh, those biscuits. Nice, dainty, dainty, cheesy. Cheesy shortbread. Oh, are they good, are they? Um, I've got three knives. Two knives. Oh, sorry, sir. Well, that's one MRE saved because we're on the cheese and biscuits now. around the tree and then attach your hammock to this bit he's okay <laughs> like so Look after me, big tree. Please be my friends tonight. Okay. So now we need the hammocky bit. I can go in the yard. for now. Mm. Oh. 
Nice that. Oh yeah, I was expecting it to be um what do you call it? Rubbish. No, not rubbish. Um rope, not rope, but you know okay. what I mean? Uh, not um okay. solid. Have a little sit. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I'm off the floor. That's okay, huh? Yeah. That's well cool. Blimey. All right. Video is now on. <laughs> Pete and his first ever. What? <laughs> Whoops. Okay. What went snap? That was just me coming out, I think. <laughs> okay. And. Let's try. I'm still there. Number two. Okay. Try again. <laughs> I've been on it once. Oh, so you know what you're doing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, just like that. Simples. Do you think you'll fall asleep in there? I nearly am now. <laughs> <laughs> Looks cosy. Right. Now to get out. <laughs> Ta-da! Next one, next bit. This is the a Dewey Ultralight backpacking or coal packing sleeping bag. Okay. Sleeping bag. Sleeping pad. Oh, wow. okay. This is from a well. There's a guy here that's got a, a YouTube channel called Monty Outdoors. And he does a lot of well, every weekend he's out doing outdoor camps and he swears by this but it's not a winter pad not a winter pad but no no you wouldn't use it this time of year but i'm daft and i wanted to try it because it's my first chance since i've had it Yes. Close, close cell phone match. Yes, yeah, it's well good. Right, 
that was for the dog last time. <laughs> Although I was on it again. Yeah, okay. There's me thinking. Alrighty, here we go then. Here's the bike, and I've got the outkit mora set up with the tarp 3.5 on top. So I found a couple of trees and just winged it. Maybe should have some further apart, I don't know. But I've got the cool cell phone mark silver one. Which is two meters long, it's quite handy. A Dewey blow up mattress and a Pipe Dream 400 from Alpkit down, which will keep me plenty warm enough tonight, I think. They all go on about under blankets. Um, I'm seeing if this silver thing will prevent me needing an under blanket. Rob's going there, uh, old school, with the Alpkit hunker. What might you got? Oh, I've got the Clyde base. Okay. Uh, yeah, Clyde base and underneath. Okay. And uh, oh, an Alkid um, Sky High 500. Okay. Yep, that's it. I'm sure there's a label on it. So have you used that yet? Oh, I have. I've used it a couple of times and it's great. And this is a Trichology inflatable pillow. Okay. So that's my little setup for this evening. What time is it, Rob? It is, I think, one o'clock. <laughs> and early, how are you, how you feeling? Days. Wide awake, look at that. One eleven. Oh dear. <laughs> early doors, yeah. Okay. Well, best we uh, have tea then. I think we should. Right. <laughs> Growing old disgracefully. Oh, absolutely. Bring it on. Oh, Rob Sparkle in her hunker and I'm uh, in the hammock, I didn't fall out. I'm not sure about it because I feel in, I'm in the banana position. But I'm in my sleeping bag and I managed to get it zipped up and I feel quite toasty at the minute. But there's a hoon and a breeze blowing in. I think I should maybe have made this diamond formation this tarp or get a bigger tarp to block the wind or maybe just put it lower down I don't know I've got these things to learn but there's a big breeze coming in there and uh, it was frosty on the way in so it's not warm tonight <laughs> the forecast was about seven degrees but that's not right because it's much colder than that anyways see you in the morning are you still awake, Rob? I am indeed. Say night night to YouTube. Night night YouTube. I'm as cosy as there's no draft coming in here. <laughs> <laughs> night night folks. Night night Jim Bob. <laughs> <laughs>
morning. Morning campers. What have you got there? I've got some nice warm coffee. Oh, it's chilly morning. It's fucking freezing geese here. <laughs> Oh, do you? Okay. Couldn't possibly film it then. Uh huh. Not easy with cold hands either. Aye, they're on my list of things to get, I think. No, I have Googled them, but they're brilliant. Aye. Look at that, simples. Ta da! Okay, this is the trees I was on. My bike's still there, between those two trees. And that's where Rob was just doing that. Thank you, lovely space, for looking after us, and thank you, trees, for not falling on me during the night. <laughs> yeah. Morning, folks. So, what you can't see is the lovely view looking south over a, a quarry uh, in the forest that we were in. But, uh, you just have to take our words for it that it's quite nice here. <laughs> the reason why we chose it. But in hindsight it's probably a bad move because you're the top of a quarry it catches the wind so it was really cold and windy all night. Uh, consequently didn't sleep very well. And uh, the hammock, uh, I'm not a fan of. I don't know if I'll be using it very often. Uh, certainly not in winter, because the two mats that I had, sure as chips is chips, they move around and then you end up being off it, and then as soon as you're off it, you get a cold spot. So the way to defeat that is to use an under blanket, and using an under blanket means you're carrying as much weight and bulk as a tent, and a tent would be a lot more suitable for winter camps like this so it may be in summer but i can't see it as being viable in winter but if you know any different let us know in the comments below <laughs> here's the edge of the quarry and here's roberta acting like a little garden gnome Right, we're going to head off back now. It's uh, seven o'clock in the morning, or oh, half past seven. So, uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, now. Tree now, one. Sun's coming up now.